Happy Alita Day. Let's do it. The Latino Slant presents Slant News Flash. Entertainment stories from around the world. Give us cinco minutos. We'll give you El Mundo. Polly here on the Latino Slant. Hope everyone is doing well and dandy. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a member. All kinds of perks. Well, it is the third annual Alita Day, and I cannot think of a better news flash than to give the Alita Army uh, a little bit of uh, good news. So here we go. Pull up the story. Exclusive from Giant Freaking Robot. <laughs> I love that name. Um, exclusive Alita Battle Angel series considered for Disney Plus. What? Fans have not given up on seeing more Alita Battle Angel while the theatrical release. Did well the box office overall with 400 million earned worldwide. It did poorly domestically and was actually made on a, bu on a huge budget that made a sequel questionable. On top of that, the studios res responsible for the 2019 release was 20th Century Fox, which has been purchased by Disney. This means new people are in charge of the property's future. These are not these are a lot of tricky factors to navigate to make a sequel happen, primarily getting the right people at the new studio interested. Despite the obstacles, hopes have remained for, for more from this franchise. Now, we can exclusively report that one of our trusted and proven inside sources has learned that Disney Plus is interested in taking on a live action, a little Battle Angel series for the streaming service. And... I can back this up in in uh, the recent Robert Rodriguez interviews that he's been doing. He's got a whole uh, full press um, um, plan that he's uh, trying to do. I say the deal's already done. I can't imagine him being a showrunner for another show without getting what he really wants, which is an Alito Battle Angel Um Sequel, our source was able to share that Disney Plus is interested in the series for streaming services in having it and in having it to be live action. But they weren't able to share whether anyone from the 2019 film may be involved. We know that director Robert Rodriguez has been pushing for this, though he recently directed an episode for The Mandalorian. That was, uh, yeah, that was uh, last year. <clears throat> now... Here's what he said in an interview with Nerdy Basement and among other uh, uh, recent outlets. I'm trying to see what happens with the book of Boba Fett. I think it's going to knock people's socks off. So when that happens, I will go in and say, okay, we've been here for a while. Let's figure it out how we can do Alita, whether it's for streaming or theatrical, because it's such a great property. People love it. Yes, Alita, uh, Alita Army. I love it. And Jim, James Cameron, co-producer, loves it. We are unable to learn whether Robert Riggers or James Cameron, who served as a producer on the 2019 film, will be involved. Well, one can only hope so, and I think the odds are with that. However, this news from our source comes shortly after the public Robert Rodriguez comments about how he would like to work with Disney on any sort of Alita Battle Angel project. So the studio's interest in creating an Alita series is timely, too timely. I say this deal is already done. It would be certainly surprising for the studio to move forward so quickly after these comments. Ah ha ha, ah ha ha. But were made without the including the director, especially as they have been developed in a relationship with him through Star Wars. Hopefully, this means they're working with him as they move forward. Ah, isn't that something? Isn't that amazing? What do you guys think? Please leave your comments in the uh, uh, section below. I say this is already a done deal. Rodriguez um, has signed on and delivered, which he says he's over-delivered on Book of Boba Fett. What a great gift would be for the Alita Army to get this huge, great news. All right. 
Five minutes are up. You be well, everybody. Slant News Flash was recorded at the Slant Studios. All information has been pre-approved by our Slantino staff of Chicanos, Cholos, homeboys, and homegirls. Keep your slant fuerte.